Right, good morning all. Hopefully you'll uh, be able to see what I'm trying to show you here. On the front of the gear lever, I'll show you a picture of it, is the range change. So that's high and low. You can hear the air activating the change. And on the side where my thumb is now, is the splitter. That's high, doesn't activate until I press the clutch. You hear it click in. And this is low, down is low, up is high. Standard four speed gearbox. So one, two, three, four in a H pattern. Each gear then has a high ratio where you flick the front lever up and use one as five, two as six, three as seven and four as eight. To complicate things even more, each ratio then has a split gear, which means that you can split each gear. So you've actually got one low and low split, one low and high split, two low and low split, two low and high split, and so on, all the way up to run 16 gears. Now you don't need them all, depending on the weight you're carrying and various other things will mean that um, you can you can sort of use less gears if you get my meaning but what it does mean is that if you've got a heavy load on at the top end of the gearbox it's handy i've just come up over some hills now just outside a run in spain and uh, it's been absolutely perfect there because you're in 16th which is eighth high and you split it, you can use the splitter, you can pre-select the splitter. So you can pre-select it like that and it won't activate until you press the clutch. So you let your revs die and die and die and then listen and it drops into low gear. Now you have to remember that it is another gear so you use the clutch accordingly. Don't bang it out because it'll it, it's literally like starting off and it'll just bang into gear. So what I'll try and do is run you through the process of going through some of the gears. Now, it's not a heavy load, uh, so I can set off in second or even third. Low range and low split. Now, I don't use the splitter until I'm moving a lot uh, further uh, along the road. I don't use it until the top two gears, really, because the load is so light that it will actually take a full gear change so I can go from third to fourth to fifth to sixth I then use seventh low split seventh high split eighth low split eighth high split so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'll um, I'll set off and you'll see the score is. So as I say I'm in third at the minute, just ordinary gearbox in third and we're away. Up to fourth, pre-select the range change for high box so you're ready to go in, you're ready to go in to five, six, seven and eight. So I'll just concentrate a bit here because we're pulling out into a slip road. There we go. So I'm in fourth, I'm still in fourth, I'm still in fourth, I'm still in fourth. I've pre-selected high. So I go back into what was first, which is now fifth. I'm then going to go up into second, which is now sixth. I check that, sorry, that's um, a, a warning for the exhaust. Uh, clear to go out here, there's no traffic. So I'm going to go up into third, which is seventh. I'm still in low split now. I pre engage the high split. There we go, nothing's happened. Nothing's happened, nothing's happened. I dip the clutch and let it out gently, as if you're changing gear, it's gone into high split. Now I pre select the low split ready for the next change. So I'm going up into fourth, Continue. low, which is eighth. I 
I mean low split again I'm running down a bit hill a bit here so I can change sooner than I anticipated so I pre-select high split which is actually my 16th and top gear dip the clutch it's gone in and let the clutch out gently and went away now what I tend to do is pre-select low on the split ready for when I need it there's a light on the dashboard that I can show you and that tells you whether you're in low or high split so you always know it's off at the moment so that means I'm in high split but I can feel by the button pressed down I've pre-engaged low split so if for example I wanted to change down here all I'd have to do is dip the clutch and it changed gear it's come up lit on my dashboard telling me I'm in low split so again I'll drop it into high it's actually going plenty fast enough so I'm on the exhaust brake now uh, but once again I pre-select low in fact I'm going to change into low here just dip the clutch goes down into low and it'll just give me those extra few revs to aid the exhaust brake on this downhill section basically is it each scenario will be different each truck will be different if you had a 750 Volvo with a splitter on it you probably wouldn't need to split as much as I do if you had a 320 Scania then you may need to split a bit more so take the weights into consideration take the gradients into consideration take the engine power into consideration and that's where you'll get used to splitting gears I've only driven this truck a couple of times, so yeah, sometimes I, I still make mistakes. I split too late or I split too early, but uh, generally, yeah, I'm getting used to it now, and it's um, and it's working well. So there's the green button on the dashboard you can see that shows I'm in low split. I've engaged high, but I haven't yet dipped the clutch, so it hasn't gone into high. So what I'm going to do now is dip the clutch, the light goes out, it goes into high, and I'm away. Again, I pre-select low gear, low split, nothing comes up on the dashboard because until I dip the clutch, it won't select the gear. 